Chrome is the undisputed king of browsers and most probably you are watching this video because you are using it. We are sure that you know a lot about Chrome but do you know all its tricks? What's up guys, this is Devender from ppom.com and in this video I will be telling you about some cool Google Chrome tricks that I think aren't very well known. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. A lot of Chrome tabs can look very cluttered. So what do you do? You decide to move some particular tabs to a new window. However, chances are you are doing it by dragging each tab to a new window one by one, which is an annoying process. Thankfully, you can easily move multiple tabs in Chrome. You can do so via the Ctrl or Shift key. All you need to do is press hold the Ctrl key and select the tabs you want to move. Once done, just drag the tabs wherever you want. You can even use the Shift key to select a range of tabs in Chrome. Chrome's Omnibox aka the address bar packs in a lot of functionalities. You can use the Omnibox to do calculations, check weather, start timer, search into websites directly and more. Moreover, you can also use the Omnibox for advanced tasks like sending an email or saving an event to the calendar. However, you will have to follow a few steps before you can start adding Google Calendar events from the calendar. First, head to the Chrome settings and click on Manage Search Engines in the search section. Here, just scroll down to the bottom and you will find three empty boxes. In the first box, add a name like Google Calendar Event and add a keyword that you'd like to use to trigger the events featured in the Omnibox. We are simply using Calendar. Once done, paste this link in the third box. Then click on Done. You can find this link in the description below. Then just type Calendar in the Omnibox and press Tab. Now just type your event details in natural language and press Enter. The Google Calendar page should then open up with all your details. You can just press save here to save the event. Well, this is surely a handy way to add Google Calendar events from Chrome. The autofill feature in Chrome is pretty great. It saves you from the hassle of entering your addresses and card details again and again. However, what if you have started using a different card or moved to a new place? Don't worry. Chrome lets you manually update the autofill data. Just head over to the Chrome settings and click on Show Advanced Settings. Then scroll down to Passwords and Forms and click on Manage Autofill Settings. Here you can just add a new address or a card and you are good to go. Chrome's notification feature is pretty great. However, it can get annoying too, especially if you allow many websites that send you spam notifications. Also, it's important to note that these notifications arrive even when you have closed Chrome. Thankfully, you can block Chrome notifications. On a PC or Mac, go to Chrome settings and click on Show Advanced Settings. Then go to Content Settings in the Privacy section. Here you will find a notification section where you can just choose to not allow any site to show notifications. If you want to block notifications from a particular website, you can click on manage exceptions and do the same. On an Android device, you can go to Chrome settings, site settings, notifications where you will find websites that bring you notifications. You can then tap on a site and in the permissions section, choose block. It's very simple, right? Like most other great applications, Chrome 2 features some really handy keyboard shortcuts. You can use Ctrl 1 to 9 to switch between different open tabs, with 1 being the first tab and 9 being the last tab. Accidentally close the tab? You can use Ctrl Shift T to quickly reopen it. You can also hit the shortcut multiple times to restore multiple tabs. Chrome can be a great memory hog. Thus, it's important to keep a check on the resource hungry tabs. 
you can just press Shift plus Escape to open Chrome's Task Manager. Want to clear browsing data? Press Ctrl Shift Delete to quickly head to Chrome's clear browsing data page. To check out more cool keyboard shortcuts, check out our detailed article from the link in the description below. Next up, we have some cool Chrome gestures for Android and iOS. Switching between tabs on Chrome Mobile is a taxing job. Thankfully, you can just swipe left or right on the address bar in Chrome to switch between tabs. Cool, right? Android users can also open the tab switcher quickly by just swiping down from the address bar. On Android, you can just pull down on a page to refresh it. However, on an iPhone, pulling down the page brings you different options like open a new tab, refresh and close the tab. Did you know that Chrome features some advanced hidden options in Chrome Flags? Well, if you don't, now you do. Chrome Flags include a number of developer aimed options, but you can use it on your Android device to enable a cool reading mode on Chrome. Reader mode is nothing but a distraction free version of a web page, which should come in handy if you don't like annoying ads or distractions while reading an article. To enable reader mode, just open Chrome on your Android device and open the link mentioned on the screen. Once you are in Chrome Flags page, you can just tap the three dot menu button and tap on find in page. Here, search for reader mode and you will find the option reader mode triggering set to default. You can then choose to force the reader mode anywhere with the always option or let Chrome decide by choosing appears to be an article. Then just tap on relaunch now to save the changes and relaunch Chrome. Once done, you will see a Make Page Mobile Friendly button at the bottom of Pages. You can simply tap the button to open the page in Reader Mode or Mobile Friendly View. You can also use a number of other Chrome flags to speed up browsing on Chrome. You can increase the number of raster threads to speed up image loading. Enable Experimental Canvas feature to improve page loading. If you want to check out more options in Chrome Flags, you should first check out our detailed article on the same from the link in the description below. Are you bored? Like really bored? Well, here's a fun trick you can try on Chrome Android. Just go to the tab switcher and swipe up on the tab 5 times, after which the tab should flip. Still bored and have a lot of free time? You can open 100 tabs on Chrome on your Android device and you should see a smile emoticon instead of the usual number of tabs. We did not try it but if you have a lot of patience, give it a try and let us know if it works. So those were our favorite Google Chrome tricks. But we'd love to know of any other cool trick that we might have missed out on. So do comment below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more cool tech videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.